Alright guys, and welcome to an SOB mod update video. And I will put money on Enzo, could not get on this roof. See? He doesn't even know where he's going. <laughs> on a way more like. <laughs> this is not the update video guys. This is just for funs. <laughs> I have discovered that these barrels do not have a collision. Hasn't? Nope. You can't even see them, can you? What? These barrels. No, I can't. Yep. That's because they're right behind the back there. That's why I can't see them. Yeah, you can see them from right out here. Anyway, focus. Priorities. What we have done is, in the top right, you will see the Seasons mod. It now states the year. It just to help with the let's play and rotations and stuff like that. I think it's cool. The team thinks it's cool. If you guys don't like it, don't use it. It's the latest update, which is 1.2, I believe. It is live on Modding Central now. Uh, we must say, for argument's sake, that this is just a play mod. It doesn't change anything, doesn't do anything other than record of what you want to do. Play realistically. Want to play realistically, then there is another mod that's going to be doing that. Yeah, over on FSUK, they are working on the mother of all seasons mods. It does look rather good. Supposed to be another one on mod host as well, but I've not tech checked that out because, you know. Fine. It, I don't like the sound of that when you have to save it every time. You want it to that what you have to do, do save yeah. it every time. That's my understanding, I could be wrong, but my understanding is you have to save the game for it to do its magic. It overrides okay. one of the save XMLs to sort the weather out that's upcoming. And it was actually something I was considering back in 13, I think. But, hey ho, and the other one is for the weight. So we've covered Seasons Mod, that's literally the only change to that. But the weight, the weight's kind of cool now though. We've made it so you can adjust it, stood next to it. Me and Enzo had a competition earlier on, and you lost. Screw the screw the keyboard. Screw the keyboard. You're keyboard. losing, sucker. You're losing. It's all over. Oh, you put your blooming macro on. That's no, why. Not my finger is vibrating at the speed of light. Really? Yeah. Can you not hear it? <laughs> I'm not giving up. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Cramp. No. Yes. <laughs> Mashed it. <laughs> Cramp. Really? Ah. Oh, God, I, I need this hand later on. Behave. Really? <laughs> I'm a single man. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I anyway. think you removed this now from a... T <laughs> you've gone from a 12... A, P a PG plus to now a 15 at least. But it was only an insinuation. You can get away with insinuation. Can you now? I believe so. That's what I'm going according, with. <laughs> not according to my wife, you can't. <laughs> I forgot what it's all about. Anyway, it's been that long. But anyway, these are the updates for the weight. We think that's quite a nice touch. But still, if you're in cab, you can carry on doing what you need to do anyway. Can you actually adjust it while I'm in the cab and you're outside? You can? Yes. Ah, cool. That's another. That's a nice touch, that, for roleplay and stuff. The, the reason I didn't block it was if you're having a lazy moment or you just can't be asked getting out, you can still operate the thing from inside. It's just a nice touch, I think. Having the options is always good. We like is it another Is it another option that as we do this, slowly but surely we push the tractor backwards? Is it actually going backwards? Yes it is. I don't think it is. With you just doing that. Oh no it is. Ever so slightly. I don't know if that's an MP thing. Could be. Oh, the, uh, it's the tyres checking on their uh, location and adjusting and they've got mm. the suspension of the vehicle adjusting. I know earlier on when we were having that little competition we actually backed it all the way into this and crushed it against the wall. <laughs> We did. <laughs> That's when the trigger was smaller, so... Yeah, it's a, if we hit the F5 now. button now, Enzo nagged me and nagged me and nagged me some more to make the trigger a fair bit what? bigger. Dude, you would have had to have been literally up here to have bloody been adjusting That's it. That's because it was back next to a drawbar. You could actually get it from in front of it about here. Okay, yeah, but now but when it's a drawbar... You could Now it's attached to a drawbar, you'd be able to do it properly. Oh, so you know, it attached to a drawbar and then changing the weights? I'm making it better yeah, for them options, on their behalf and options, you're one bitching at me. I hope everyone appreciates that. <laughs> but anyway, we now have a bigger trigger due to Enzo's nagging. So you can operate it from the side like this if something stood in front of you. Playability, dude. Playability. Think about the people out there. Everybody likes to do different things, so you've got to make the options, haven't you? I'm just on about options as well. <laughs> but anyway, it's the same controls as when you're inside. B to add, X to remove. So, well, it does show at the bottom of the screen for you. Yeah, because I have no idea how to put it in the F1 menu. Not a clue. I have tried various little things and it just won't work. There may be a 1.4 coming out at some point. 
But for now, it's down there, which is kind of easy because if you do forget, then. Da -da 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 -da. To, be quite, to be quite honest, I actually like the fact that it's at the bottom, it's different to the top bit because some people actually hide that. And if you actually use Game Extensions HUD Hider, it's still there. Is it? Yeah. Ah, sh sugar. Marcus going to tell you off now. Well, no, actually, it's not an important one because it only comes on when you're in range of the thing. Yeah, but, but then again, if people are off. using HUD Hider constantly, that might be annoying. Well, no, no, because there could be why they want, you know, they're only doing it while they're adding the blue weights on and off. They're not going to be sitting here all day thinking, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And, oh, look, I'm complaining because yeah, this goes put them at the bottom of the screen. If you are playing with HUD Hider on all the time, like a role player thing, all of a sudden that text appears on your screen, it's going to be annoying. Really? It will be. I can think of the more things that are annoying, like my bank balance for argument. That's fine. <laughs> I'm going to sell it, guys, don't worry. There will be a 1.4 up. That will be got rid of. <laughs> Ow. And I've just spotted that time fast forward actually appears up there. That's a mod. I can get at the script for that and find out how he did it. And it enters hidden away in the 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 game script somewhere. But the time fast forward mod, I should be able to find out why that appears in the F1 menu and I can't get that thing to. Urgh. It's annoying because I can get the text on the bottom. That pops up. You can adjust the weights. So it's it's there. I'm just missing the triggery part. But I'll figure it out. But anyway guys, we're gonna call it there. Those are the two updates. Hope you enjoy them. Like I said, there will be a 1.4 of the weight coming out, probably by the time you watch the video. Because it's not too difficult to accomplish. So, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy, and we'll catch you all later. Later dudes.